hello guys in the last video we have implemented stack now when i say stack there are many applications of stack like stack is used in recursive function call stack is used for expression conversion from infix to postfix infix to prefix then stack is also used for expression evaluation so given an expression calculating the value of the expression is nothing but expression evaluation so there are many applications of stack now in this video we are going to see one use of stack now this is not actual application we can say but it is a small use of stack and that is nothing but converting a decimal number into its binary from using stack so how to convert a decimal number into the binary form using stack for that what will be the algorithm so let's see couple of examples and we will understand the algorithm and then we will implement the program for that so suppose 13 is a number which I want to convert into its binary form. So what I will do, I will divide the number by 2. Now algorithm is you will put the remainder onto the stack every time. So if I divide 13 with 2, quotient is going to be 6 and remainder is going to be 1. So suppose this is the stack. So I push the remainder onto the stack. Then again I will divide this 6 by 2. So what will be the quotient and what will be the remainder? Quotient will be 3 and remainder will be 0 which I will push onto the stack. Again I will divide this 3 by 2. Quotient will be 1. Remainder is also 1. I will push it onto the stack. Again I will divide this 1 by 2. Quotient will be 0 remainder will be 1 which I will push it onto the stack. Now this number has become 0 so I will stop here. I will stop dividing it by 2. After that I will pop out all the contents of stack and I will print them onto the output. So when I pop out these elements it is since it is last in first out this the output will be 1101. So I will print into the output 1101. So this is the binary equivalent of 13. So let's take one more example so that understanding will be better. Suppose 51 is the number which I want to convert into its binary form. Then what is the process? I will divide the number by 2. What will be the quotient? Quotient will be 25. Remainder will be 1. And I will push the remainder onto the stack. So it will be 1 here. Again 225 I will divide by 2 quotient will be 12 remainder is 1 which is onto the stack divide by 2 quotient will be 6 remainder is 0 push it onto the stack divide by 2 quotient is 3 remainder is 0 push it onto the stack then divide by 2 quotient will be 1 remainder will be also 1 it will be on stack again divide the 1 by 2 so quotient will be 0 remainder will be 1 which will be on stack and I will stop here since the number has reduced to 0. After that I will pop out all the elements of stack. So output is going to be 1 1 0 0 1 1 which is nothing but binary equivalent of 51. So now let's implement program for it. So this is the stack that we have already implemented in the last video. It has default constructor, push function is there, pop function is there, each full function is there and each empty function is there. And the elements are getting stored inside this array which is a data member of class stack. Definitions are written for each of the function and below that main function is there. So I will keep the code for stack as it is that means class stack will remain as it is. For this program I will only change the main function. So in main function now I am supposed to convert decimal number into its binary form using stack. So what will be the code inside main first I will declare one variable num which is number to be converted and I will take it from the user so I will ask user to enter number then see in num and now what I am supposed to do? I am supposed to divide this number by 2 and I will store the remainder. I will push the remainder onto the stack. So for that push operation or pop operation or any other stack operation I will need one object of stack class. So here I will declare one object of stack 
which is stack s1 and here I'll write code inside the loop so what will be there inside loop what I'm supposed to do I'm supposed to push the remainder of num divided by 2 so that is given with num mod 2 mod operator will give you the remainder so this remainder I will push onto the stack so I will say s1 dot push and argument will be num mod 2 after that I will get a new quotient so that can be done using this line num equals to num divided by 2 so new number is nothing but the quotient of the division and I will repeat this thing till num do not reduce to 0 so what will be the condition here condition will be num greater than 0 so once num has become 0 I will stop and after that I will pop out all the elements of stack so for that again some loop will be there I will I am supposed to pop all the elements that means I am supposed to pop the elements till stack is not empty so here the condition will be while not s1 dot is empty so till the stack is not empty pop so s1 dot pop and print that onto the output so here I will leave some space at the end I will change the line so this will be the main function so let me run the program and let me check whether it is able to convert the decimal number into binary form so g++ name of the file stack dot cpp dot slash a dot out enter number if I say 8 binary equivalent is 1000 13 1001 correct 51 now here it is getting exception because stack size is only for you so I need to increase the size of the stack for larger values of num yes this is correct so this is the program to convert decimal number into binary form using stack so if you like the video please hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel i will see you again in the next video